everyone. Welcome to Haley Montero. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Sagittarius. How are you guys? Hope you're well. I did some random readings. Uh, what do you need to know right now? Uh, if you haven't checked those out, you can have a look in my playlist. I've got all uh, 12 zodiac signs up there now. So Sag, who's interested in you coming your way or vice versa? Sagittarius. Here we go. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Someone here you might not be interested. Maybe you don't find them attractive. They're just not your type. Whatever the situation. Oh, yeah. Something going on. Yeah. Cycle ending. It's an energy where, you know, <laughs> something didn't go in your favor. You're not seeing something in a favorable light, but things are about to flip. So it's a cycle that's ending. So something is over. I can see that death card. Yeah, with every ending comes a new beginning, though. Yeah, you're freeing yourself. Some of you are just in a freedom mode. Uh, but this is an energy of preparing for success. Something wasn't successful, okay? I feel like you gave something a shot or... Because uh, it looks like you're not attracted to this person, okay? You're, you're not interested. So I feel like it's an ending where you're just moving on, you're, you know, setting yourself free. So there was there was no victory there. Yeah, I do see a little indecision. It's also an energy of someone failing to recognize, failing to recognize something here. See, unable to see or unable to make a decision. Sometimes this is just, I don't know, uh, not budging, not moving. You know, you got a person with their arms crossed over their uh, chest. This is someone who's kind of closed off here. Yeah, so it looks like you may even have a choice. So it, it has to do with that physical attraction, uh, the bond the chemistry so it looks as though um there's somebody here you're not interested in yeah and there's the the ace of wands yeah you're not finding this person appealing okay in whatever way there's no no physical attraction um, energy so that's where i feel and you know you got the six of cups here so uh, it looks as though it's just a little bit of a crush uh, kind of energy but it's an energy just keeping things simple too so it's a sense of longing some of you may be longing for someone you want someone that you can have success with it's about going the distance it's like nothing's going the distance or what you want isn't coming towards you but uh, i feel with this ending here yeah things are about to go in your favor you've got some a, cr a new crush coming in you have another choice here <laughs> yeah look at that so some of you are definitely single okay uh, single mode looking out for yourself feeling pretty independent um, some of you like I, I feel an energy like it's almost like you know you got people coming in but they're never your type or what you want and then all of a sudden you got this new crush somebody coming towards you it's a person who's gonna uh, that does find you attractive probably vice versa hopefully here um, and they're going to start doing nice things for you, okay? Bring, they bring flowers or, um, you know, it's somebody maybe um, inviting someone out for a cup of coffee or just saying nice things, cooking them something, you know, little things like that. Or, you know, hey, I, ma I bake some cookies here, you know, that's kind of where I was getting at, that sort of energy. But it, and, uh, you know, it's a person who's crushing and they're exploring their feelings. It's somebody who wants to date. And I do feel they're single, so it's possible they've ended something. It could be this person who's ended something with someone they're not attracted to. Uh, they're not interested in them for whatever reason. So it could be them, you know, someone who's fairly newly single. I also see a lot of happiness. Yeah, you got to, there's some emotional fulfillment. Boy, that turned out different. A lot of happiness. This is someone who's, you know, wants to have success. They're not afraid of putting themselves out there. So I feel this is somebody, uh, definitely fire sign. They could have some Sag in their chart, but that, and I do see Scorpio here. I see a little Gemini, Cancer Pisces. Yeah. Some of you might have a choice. You might be unsure here. Don't fail to recognize something, though, okay? So it's about taking off the rose-colored glasses, the blinders. Uh, it has to do with the decision. So maybe it's yourself having a hard time making the decision uh, here. Yeah, so it has to do with building a foundation. Now, this could have to do with, um, this could be a gift, an invitation. Uh, could very well be, it's definitely a single person. It's either you're newly single or somebody else is. Uh, someone's definitely a pretty happy person. 
Somebody's pretty happy. This has to do with seeing the bigger picture, long term. So it's telling you don't fail to recognize long term. Or somebody who's willing to go the distance, who's planning for success. It's also uh, taking off the rose-colored glasses and making a choice. What will be successful long term and what won't, leading to commitment. Okay, this is definitely... Um, some really positive energy so it looks like you have to make a choice if it's not you i feel it could be another person could be a person who um is making a choice maybe they chose somebody else i don't know somebody's definitely making that decision with the ace of wands to do with the physical connection that's how i see that it has to do with this passionate new beginning a crush see this is someone keeping things simple though Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, so it has to do with justice, uh, balance, playing fair, to do with possible commitment. See, we have someone here who has entered a relationship. They're single. So it could be someone who's newly single. But it also it has an energy of someone who possibly sees you as just right. Uh, the way you dress, maybe you... I always see this as a, someone who accessorizes and dresses very nice, although earthy. Okay, yeah. So either or, or both. Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, it's about options and possibilities. It's about making a decision. See, it's about making, some of you may have a few options here. If it's not yourself, it's another person looking at all the possibilities of this being long term. Is this being successful? See, it's a person who sees someone... Uh, no, not having success. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, maybe they're just focused on the physical. Um, friends with benefits, possibly. That kind of energy. So who is this Knight, Knight of Cups? Who is this person? This is somebody with cancer energy. This is someone who's uh, keeping a secret, possibly. Doesn't have to be. They could. It could be someone who had a choice between you and someone. They may... Like I say, started something with you, uh, or they've ended something. It looks like they ended. Something's ended. It could be a person who was married or in a relationship, or ending something with someone who's not right for them. Um, but there's the moon. Now this is shadow work. Someone facing their fears. It's doing some. It's an energy of uh, inner work. Um, Two people facing each other. Now, it could be a person who, little fear of intimacy, uh, being emotionally uh, intimate with another person, because it is an emotional card. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mystery here. Let's have another look at the moon. The moon has got a lot of energies because it's, oh yeah, so it has to do with new. Something's becoming clear. Okay, uh, something is becoming clear, something new. You got someone new here. It looks like they're the one who's um, choosing you. Somebody's making a choice. They're going to choose you because they feel this is something that could be successful. But I also see an energy of someone who's a free spirit. Now, it's possible you and another person may connect because you're both kind of free spirits. Hmm. The Six of Wands, is to me, is people who like adventure. They like to explore. They like to travel. Sometimes they like the outdoors. You know, someone may be fantasizing about you here <laughs> uh -huh, and making a decision. So it could be someone who's keeping a secret. They may start something with you before something is completely over. Just keep an eye on that, okay? Because you certainly don't want to connect with somebody who's either still in a relationship, uh, someone who may act single when they're actually in a relationship, a little caution there, a little secretive, but I don't always see it as a secret because it's not. It, I mean, more often than not, it's just shadow work, someone having to face their fears. Now, it could be an energy where you have a person who ended something and um, it could be someone who's been crushing on you for a while or crushing on two people. It's the early stages. Um, it could be someone who's worried you've started something new here as well. So it's something is going to be exposed. Yeah, it has to do with faith, the way someone conducts themselves. Yeah, it has to do with two people being on the same page. Someone's a little worried here. So it looks like there's an energy of a person who, uh, someone here who's not on the same page, not interested, and then uh, possibly heading your way. Yeah, see a new opportunity. So it's this person's offering. This could be a date. It looks like a date. Do you want to go somewhere? Do you want to do something? 
Um, this person will kind of negotiate that. They'll actually give you a choice. They'll let you choose. Okay. Do you want to come over to my house? Do you want to go out somewhere? They're trying to do things right, I feel. Okay. We'll see. Tell me about the four of wands. Yeah, it's a person who's um, in a bit of a rush. They're choosing their words wisely, choosing their battle. So this is a person who's uh, kind of in a, a bit of a rush. They're in a hurry. It's somebody who doesn't want you to get away. So if you've ended something with another person, you're newly single or, you know, it, it could be them coming towards you. No, I don't feel somebody is married here. I actually feel it's because I see the sun. I see something new. And it's very happy, very positive, someone on the same page, two people who get each other. No, so I feel they're going to ask you something. They're going to say, it's gonna, I feel it's going to be, where do you want to go? They're kind of keep leaving it open. Okay. And I think this person's going to be in a hurry. Now, you might not see this coming. If you, if you have a choice, you might be a little unsure. Okay. So you might just want to keep your own options open too. You want to just play the field and keep your options open. You might just want to stay single, <laughs> especially if you are um, fairly newly single, okay? Yeah, some people do. Not ready for anything long term, you know, um, just kind of dating. So yeah, there's, there's, some, there's some positive news here. It's definitely an energy of three people. But I feel somebody wants to take you out. They may, hey, do you want to meet somewhere? I feel they're going to leave it open. They're going to negotiate. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to meet? They're in a hurry. It's just like hurry up and make a decision kind of energy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. King of Cups here. You've got someone feeling loved up. you got someone looking for love here. Yeah. This is someone who's not afraid to wear their heart on their sleeve to tell you how they feel. Uh, this is a person who's definitely, oh yeah, they see you as marriage material. Um, you can flip these energies around as well. So it's an energy of looking at the situation. This is an energy of home, being comfortable at home. Uh, some of you are more focused on your financial foundation, your money, your home, than life. Bit of a home body energy. Uh, so I feel it's an energy of uh, making a choice. Um, to invite this person over. I feel like you're unsure. Because uh, I do actually feel it's going to be kind of spontaneous. Uh, so you're going to need to ground yourself and look at the situation if you feel comfortable with it. So I feel like it's something you might not be uncomfortable about. It might be moving a little too fast. If they, someone uh, invites you to their home, okay? Or whether you should invite them to your home. But uh, we all know anyone who's in this Queen of Pentacles energy, it doesn't matter who you are. You're more comfortable at home, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles has a comfortable home, <laughs> It's generally comfortable no matter what, right? It's just someone who likes to have some nice things around them and, you know, fluffy pillows on the sofa. Things are a little more organized. But here we go, yeah. So tempering your passions, being patient, making a decision here. Yeah, it's an energy where there's someone here you may feel like something's off if you have a couple opportunities. Something may be off. But it's telling you to just be patient. Uh, temper those uh, passions, no need to rush, just ground yourself. Yeah, I, I, if anyone tries to, if they, because I feel like it's like they're asking you out and then goes, well, unless you want to go, uh, me to come to your house. There's something about that here. <laughs> you might feel this is something off. You might not be comfortable with it. So it could go either way, but here it is. There's a connection. You know, there's definitely two people here. Uh, you're going to connect with this person. There's going to be some chemistry. Uh, you're going to see eye to eye. So I feel like it's going to be okay. But I, it's, it's an energy of not rushing, choosing your battles, okay? Uh, choosing your words. Uh, but it could be this person too. Like I say, anxious and impatient coming after you. Somebody doesn't want you to start something new. Um, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, and there's that energy of the freedom, you see. It's about whether something's long-term, whether it'll be successful. So it's about planning for success. You're also getting a heads up because I feel there's something ha going to happen. I, I feel it with all the readings lately that there's something um, that's, a, that's going to happen, I feel, uh, for some of you where it's somebody you possibly already know. And it's about, it's going to happen. It won't be exact same time for everyone, but it has to do with long term, whether something will be successful. Okay, and I can see two people here. This person may have some Sag in their chart. Uh, they could be a Scorpio with some Sag in their chart. 
because uh, I definitely see Scorpio. I also see a little Virgo energy. So we have somebody who's, well, this could be that energy here, somebody who's a little more introverted, somebody's a little more extroverted here. Um, so, yeah. So someone who's in that Queen of Pentacles energy, it may not even be yourself, but it looks like it could be. It feels like it is here, the way the energy is flowing. But there's definitely some chemistry here. But some of you, there's something off with someone. Thanks, but no thanks. You're not interested. Definitely, you know, you're not. there's no chemistry. You're not into them. It feels off. You know, sometimes people just don't click. You know, you just don't. You don't communicate. You're not on the same page. You don't want the same things, whatever the situation, you see. But then you've got this other opportunity. So I do see it is about success and truth. Uh, some kind of a victory here. So this actually could be something that goes the distance. Because I feel that's what it's saying. It's about um, making a decision based on whether something will go the distance. If a person, you know, if it's going to be long term. It's possible you don't want something long term. Okay, you just want a companion. Sometimes the Queen of Pentacles just wants a companion. Someone to do outdoorsy things, travel. Uh, someone to connect with, to talk to, a friend possibly. You might friend zone. Um, one person and you may um, you know feel the other one is more uh, long term so it looks like you're making a decision here mm. but don't make sure you take off the rose colored glasses don't fail to recognize okay an opportunity um, because I think it could be you missing an opportunity here with someone sometimes it's an energy of uh, you get a person who comes in and you first meet them and you have a date and you find it's just off, it's not right. Sometimes things don't get go off on the right foot. So it's it's possible here you could even give somebody another chance, okay? But it's telling you to just be patient while you make this decision. Just uh, ground yourself, temper yourself, and look at the details. Don't make any rash decisions. Don't make a decision until you're ready, okay? That's what I feel, don't... Because I and I feel that's your energy too. So, but you've got also you got a King of Pentacles. So we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. We have a power couple energy here. Wow. Yeah, it's an energy of being comfortable. You know, two people being comfortable, focused on the same things, being on the same page. You get each other. You see, it feels right. This is an energy of two people. This person sees you as someone who's just right, marriage material. Uh, looks like vice versa here. You're both kind of feeling the same. You're going to connect here. Soulmate connection. Now you might just want to be friends first. Like I say, not going to make any decisions. I feel like it, you're just not going to make a decision um, with this person, whether you just want to be friends, um, you know, or take it to the next level. I don't even see that here. But wow, it's looking pretty good. It looks pretty good. But I see there's definitely the energy of three. Tell me about this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, this person wants to date you. There's no doubt. It may, it may take a few dates till you get comfortable with each other, to like loosen up or you can, um, you know, see eye to eye and talk and really uh, share your feelings. It has to do with someone exposing themselves, their true self. See, you got a person here who's... I feel it's a person who's a little more introverted. And I wouldn't say a, a major introvert, just someone who has that energy where they kind of keep a lot of things to themselves they're kind of private it takes them a little time to get comfortable to share uh, of themselves their feelings you see because that's that energy of the moon you know it's energy a little bit of mystery and it's also telling you to don't share everything about yourself with this person right away uh, let them want to learn about you with the knight of swords by being a little mysterious okay don't tell them everything all about you right away uh, and it could go the other direction, too. So it's a little air of mystery here. <laughs> yeah. Let's kind of keep it simple. Just, you know, keeping things a little bit simple here. But, yeah, it may take a couple of, of, of dates to kind of loosen up, to start feeling the chemistry. Okay, so if there is only this one particular person, that's what could be happening here. But, yeah, oh, no, you've got a couple opportunities. Yeah, this is a fresh new start, a new opportunity. Someone actually sees this op an opportunity that this could go the distance with you as well. So that's why it could both be there for both of you. 
seeing the opportunity to date, to get to know each other, to hang out, do some, you know, whatever it is you like to do that you're on the same page with. It's an energy of looking at the possibilities and making choices, you know. So I feel like on the first date, you may do one thing. They may choose, then they'll let you choose or you'll choose however that works for you because you're going to agree on something here, okay, uh, with this per person, the person that gets to your door, basically, <laughs> Yeah, but it's an energy of like no place like home. And the reason why I feel that is, is the queen of pentacles in the home and the two of cups. So I don't think you should rush to invite them to your home. I, I, it's, I feel like it's telling you, um, especially if it's someone who just got divorced. Okay, or just broke up with somebody. Um, and because uh, it has to do with change. Okay, and it looks like something fairly quick here. With every ending comes a new beginning. It brings out change. But this actually could go somewhere with that world. It's energy just kind of going with the flow. Uh, it's an energy of someone who's just kind of going with the flow, just kind of seeing what happens. Okay. So, yeah, it's definitely solid. This is, yeah, it's about starting things off on the right foot. Uh, and if it is a person coming back around, maybe things didn't start off on the right foot the right time. You know, maybe you, you felt, oh, this isn't right. There's no chemistry. They're not really right for me. And it's saying to have, you know, giving somebody a few tries here instead of just ending it. But there's definitely something coming to an end, and it looks like the single life. Someone may be ready to go the distance, long-term relationship. It could be an energy where somebody is, sees you as just right and they're ready to um, see an end. The ending is sometimes the single life, being single. Wow. Yeah, it's possible you both dated and played the field. You know, you dated a lot of people, you played the field, and now it's time to, you finally, two people finally meet and finally connect uh, with the right person. So it's an energy of a cycle, things going in your favor here. This is nice. Someone sees you in a favorable light too. I like this energy. I, I, I think you've got uh, a, a match here, uh, this person, but I feel like if it is just this one person and there's no one else around, and this starts... Um, if you actually reject this person or fail to recognize, failing to recognize something, if you could miss an opportunity if you reject them. Because I actually feel that this person, um, I don't see any bad intentions at all. I feel somebody who just wants to go with the flow, um, you know, getting on the same page. It's how they conduct themselves. They are a little secretive, but I'm not so sure they're keeping a secret of someone else. It's possible for some of you, but you know, I kind of felt that at first just because of the cards, but I don't really feel that as much now that you know, a few gaps have been filled in here. But it could be that way for some of you. But regardless, if they have just entered a, a relationship, um, do make sure they are ready to start something new, okay? So that's what I feel. It's like if that's the case, this person may not be ready to start something new, at least long term, okay? Uh, maybe hang out, be friends, just kind of uh, do some things together and see where it goes. It could actually go somewhere. That's what's so cool about it. Yeah, wisdom, trusting the intuition, knowing everything. So someone who already knows everything they need to know. Now, it could be yourself, your inner wisdom, uh, telling you not to rush into anything. Choose your battles. Choose your words wisely. Because um, I almost feel like you're going to reject them. Uh, and if you do, it's telling me you may fail to recognize that. Because they're there. I mean, they're it's a power couple. You know. I I feel they could be just right. But we'll see. Maybe, you know, it's possible you could friend zone them. It's possible for some of you, but I'm seeing two people drinking from each other's cup. <laughs> so when I see that, especially with temperance, it's about being patient. And I think you're going to have to be patient to connect emotionally with this person. A little introverted energy. There's no doubt that this person's a little introverted. I feel they're a little, they're introvert, extroverted. They have, uh, takes them a little time, I feel, to kind of warm up a bit. Okay. So that's where I feel like you may need to be patient with them. Don't expect too much too soon. Just kind of keep it simple for a while. 
You know, they're going to do sweet things for you, though. They're going to do nice things for you. Yeah, and there's the star energy. So it's about releasing things that no longer serve. So in other words, whatever it is that you feel no longer serves, okay? Uh, that isn't going to work in this situation. It's about, this is to do with your hopes and dreams. This is about being hopeful uh, and kind of going for it here. Um, but it's also about letting go of something. And that letting go could be the Knight of Swords with this some indecision here, you know? unable to make a decision so um but also not rushing in and then to rush out so just take it slow so you don't charge in oh this is going to be great and then go oh no <laughs> it's off okay now it's possible this is something that's already happened but yeah it's looking like yeah see it's two people who adore each other admire each other and this is what you're looking for you're looking for somebody who has faith uh, in the connection faith in themselves and it's two people who adore each other and admire each other it's mutual i see this as my mutual with a star you see two people kind of wanting the same thing so you may actually agree let's just keep it simple uh, let's just hang out and do things together maybe just keep it between yourselves too not really involve other people until you see where it goes i feel that energy too just keeping it a bit of a secret until you're sure Okay, so there you go. Trust your intuition. If it feels right, go for it. If don't, you can always friend zone them. <laughs> All right, see you later.